Hi, Diane Rolston here, entrepreneurial coach, high performance trainer, and professional speaker. Today I wanted to talk about what you do in your typical workday, especially adding in self-care. Self-care. So many times we, especially as with mothers, we say we don't have time to do self-care. We, you know, we have our jobs or our careers or our businesses and our families and our house and our community and our volunteering and everything else. Well then, wouldn't during the day <laughs> when you have more flexibility with your time that you schedule in some self-care? What comes up for you in hearing that? Oh, I couldn't possibly take time away from work to go um, and have, you know, go do something for myself. Well, why not? You need to take care of you for your job or for your business. Now, I want to speak specifically to business owners or people who have more, um, even if you're in a job, who have flexibility of their time. Please think about all the things that you want for self-care. Is it a haircut? Is it working out? Is it just a dentist or a doctor's appointment? Or seeing a naturopath maybe? How about a massage? How about getting a mani-pedi? How about seeing friends? Going shopping for what you needed? Or maybe something that you want? It's really important that we have time for self-care. We got to take care of us, especially if we're running our own businesses. We are the ones that are bringing in the money. If we're not healthy, then how's the business going to be healthy? You know, I look back to my first pregnancy because, yes, I'm um, 28 weeks pregnant now. And I think, man, I was not as healthy before as I am now. The reason before I was working for somebody else and I didn't have as much control over my time. The most I could do was, you know, a small walk at lunchtime, but then that meant I was like racing to scarf down some food. Didn't really go over too well. And if it was nice out, it was a little bit harder for me to get out or I didn't want to because I'd have to go back to the office and wet clothes or change and it just took too much time. Well, what do I get to do now? Every morning I get to start my day with a walk in the beautiful forest. I'm lucky that way. But also, I'm choosing to spend that time doing that. What do you choose to spend your time on? What kind of things? Now, you might be hearing, you know, in the back of your head, yeah, I don't have time for that. Like, I'm busy, I got a lot to do. How much time do you spend on Facebook? How much time do you spend answering emails? How much time do you spend procrastinating how much time do you spend being less effective in doing your work because you're tired? Or you're worrying? Or you just are not motivated, so you're working slow? You know, I'm asking these tough questions because it's true, and I went through them before as well. Like, how could I possibly go and get a mani-pedi during work? How can I now? Because that's the time that it works. Because my family is my priority. When they come home at the end of the day, I want to be with them. So ask yourself, what's your priority? Mine, my family, my self-care, my health, as well as my business. So I encourage you to look at your day and think, what do I really want to add in here? Where can I spend that time? And then make a list of all the things that you have been maybe holding off or been wanting to do around self-care. You know, yesterday I went for a massage. Why? They're open during the day. It's so much easier for me to go. I don't have to make sure that my daughter uh, or my husband is here to take care of my daughter. I can just go and do it and enjoy and then come home and feel refreshed and get back to business. Okay? So please, I encourage you, I plead with you, do some self-care for yourself this week and make sure that it's an ongoing thing. Schedule it in. If you don't schedule it in, nobody else will and your schedule will be full, fulfilling your requirements or what you feel as obligations with work or satisfying other people's needs and wants.
So put you first. Okay? And until next time, stay dynamic, be in action, and I'm signing off. Bye.